want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elder apostles, and salutations to all the men throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word fervently with the utmost sincerity, and that are truly passionate for this truth. And I wanted to make a quick video to make a very brief announcement. With all the things that's happening, and with us getting ready for Jacob's trouble, which is around the corner, for things to become a lot worse than they are, and to no longer hear the birds chirping as we hear them now. is going to put people in a very uncomfortable situation, in many uncomfortable situations. And people's true character come out in the face of adversity. When you're no longer comfortable, when you're hungry, when you're thirsty, when you're in pain, when you're in deep sorrow, so this is a question and a thought for all the Akium everywhere. If you are unwilling to be uncomfortable now for a brother, to bear a brother's burden, are you willing to be uncomfortable in the day of Jacob's trouble? Are you willing to bear your brother's burden when the shit hits the fan? Because it's one thing if a brother asks for a favor and you're not able to do it because you got to be at work, you're at work already, maybe you're already handling something that's very important. Or um, maybe you're in the middle of a life or death situation. But see, in this life, there are sacrifices that have to get made. And there are sacrifices that have to get made also for the team, for the church. Okay, you've heard that, that saying, taking one for the team. Sometimes some of us need to take L's or what's considered an L, but is really not an L. That sacrifice is treasures, treasures laid in heaven. That sacrifice is really charity. Being charitable to a brother is not just giving money to a brother. It's also giving your time, being of service to the brother, okay? Because if a brother asks you for help and you're able to help a brother, and you hide your face from the brother because you don't want to be uncomfortable, you're able to help a brother, but you... You make up some bullshit fucking excuse because you don't want to be uncomfortable. Because you don't want to go out of your way for a beloved brother. A, a hopeful elect. The Lord's sheep. And what's even worse than the type of man that would do such a thing is the man that sees that his brother needs help. Doesn't have to ask the question, brother, do you need help? You see the man needs help. And you still neglect that brother. You don't even reach out. And sometimes some brothers may have a, be a little proud, you know. Um, when I, you know, they feel some type of way asking for help. Because that pride as a man kicks in, you know, which is natural to want to be a man and aside from the Lord's help, okay, aside from the spirit, you know, your own two hands resolving your, 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 whatever your, your needs, your, your problems, your issues, providing for yourself. But the truth of the matter is that we're in hell, we're in captivity. We need each other, all right? It's not all of us is out here in the streets by ourselves, prophesying by ourselves. Even if you, shit, even if you are a pair, just two brothers, if you are a two-man camp, you need to, and you need to treat that brother like that's your everything. 
Whatever you do to your brother, you did it unto your Hawashai. So remember, ask yourself, are you willing to endure a level of uncomfortability, if that's the word, un are you willing to be uncomfortable, okay, for whatever period of time, whatever level of in, 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 in comfort, okay? Are you willing to endure whatever level of uncomfortability, okay, to help a brother out in need, a sincere brother, okay? Are you willing to take the initiative to help a brother out without that brother asking you for help? And you know very damn well. You see it with your own eyes. You feel it within the greatest depths of your soul that that brother needs help. He doesn't even need to reach out. You see him. Are you willing to open your fucking mouth or fuck opening your mouth? Take action and get your hands dirty. Are you willing? Because if you're not, then you need to repent and examine yourself. Because if you're selfish, then you might as well just label yourself a piece of shit. Because if you're not willing to help a brother out now during this grace period, when everybody's on the hamster wheel going about their business. Are you really willing to help a brother when all shit hits the fan? If faith without works is dead. And charity is part of the works and you lack charity. Are you going to be charitable when the shit hits the fan and you haven't eaten in three days? Are you going to share with what you have of a brother? Are you going to sacrifice the little bit of water? Are you willing to do that? Ask yourself these things. If you can't do none of that now, if you can't do the slightest act of being uncomfortable for a brother to help that brother out, man, then you need to examine yourself and you need to repent. If not, get the fuck out of the way. Drop what you're doing. Fuck this being cool shit. Get the fuck out of the way and out of our faces. Lest you repent and get your ass right. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to the house of David. Shalom.